right up front. Um, and so don't have, if you have more than one conversion element that you're trying to get them to do, you'll lose them at the hoops. Um, but as far as uh, a solicitation problem specific to, so uh, uh, ethics rules in most states, if it's not an in-person solicitation, then you're fine, right? So email has been considered to not be an in-person solicitation. And I would actually argue that the multiple loops that you're having them jump through gets away from um, uh, uh, that solicitation. Because, I mean, think about it. You can email them, and they can respond to that email, and you can have a conversation, and you don't violate the ethics rules. Well, if you're sending them to the core and then trying to convert from the core, uh, that, that's just one more step that you're putting in there. OK. Um, some attorney I know is using a person from the, from the India to do all his Facebook, Twitter, et cetera, at $4 an hour. Um, OK. I mean, I think that's just a comment. I, um, I, I certainly think it's, it's a good idea to do this stuff inexpensively because it doesn't need to be expensive. Um, however, uh, to the extent that um, you are not interacting in these things, to the extent that you put stuff up and just let it sit, um, and it doesn't really have an interactivity or a conversion concept built into it, then ultimately it's just money wasted, no matter what you paid. So I think it's really important that if somebody sets up stuff for you, that you understand how it works, and you understand how you can leverage it by interacting at times, by pushing things back to your core web presence at times, and um, you know, just actually having a relationship with people that's genuine. It doesn't need to be all the time. It just